Hello world, lockpicking dev here. I'm back with this 8345 Avis, and the reason being is I figured out what I did in the last video. So, the Z bar on the back here, you have to have facing this way. Or no, this is the way you have it facing to shanks the shackle. If you, otherwise, you want it this way if you want it to be key retaining. And that way the shackle doesn't come out. And this way is the black dot facing up there. And so now since we're here, I figured I would show you how to put it all back together, um, especially since I don't have a, uh, a changing tool for this. So first things first, we're going to make sure that this is always up, this long side here, just so this ball bearing doesn't fall out. And inside here, our core, you can see that those two little nubs right there, that nub and that nub, they're in the way. We don't have much, in much space. Um, so our tailpiece fits in right there. You can see how it fits in right between those. But if we put the Z-bar in, you can see how there's not enough space for the Z-bar. So we need to move those, and that's usually what the change tool is for. So how we're going to do that is we're going to push the shackle in the back here a little bit. Put this in. Turn this as pushing the shackle in. Oh, let's do it again. Oh, our screw fell out, so get our screw back in. Get our screw back in. There we go. Try that again. Get our shackle in there. And what it is, so that shackle won't go any further. If you can get it slightly in there. There we go. And That'll uh, wedge in there for the, um, it'll wedge the ball bearing there. The screw fell out again. It's going to be a pain in the ass, that's all right. And what we just did is now, you can see the ball bearing this side's all the way down. On the other side, it's pretty much all the way down too, but not all the way, all the way down like we want it to yet. So next thing we want to do is see how the, nub right there is now right there and the other one is underneath now so that's what we did is we moved those nubs we're going to move them a little bit further and we do that using the z-bar so we put the z-bar on the way i had it before without the black bar black dot facing up so black dot facing down and we put it in our lock because so we have more room now we have enough room for the uh Z bar to fit in. See how it's flush now. Move it just a little bit more over. Something that's preventing us from. Oh, hell, just fell. There we go. on we should turn we should get our shackle in or if our shackles too far pushed in right now so let's try to back it out just a little bit actually there we go screw our z bars in there so as long as the z bars in there put our shackle in there we go so as long as our Z bar fit in there flush and our core is flush right here, it doesn't matter if this is in anymore. So it'll hold those uh, positions and all right, it'll hold it in place. Oh shit, I just lost it. So let's be careful there. So actually, this is okay. So actually, that's okay. What we need to do next is this can't be locked. So this has to be somewhat open like this. It cannot be locked to do the rest of it. We need these little nubs in the same positions before to fit our uh, new Z-bar position. So now we want the Z-bar with the black dot facing up like that. And then we want to fit it in. So we have room now. So those little nubs are out of the way. And there we go. See how it's sticking out just a little bit still. That's for our, our screw. And now we can see our shackle will not come out. But be careful when doing this all. Oh, there we go. Pour it all the way in there. OK. 
careful when doing this because you don't want to pull your core back out and you'll just screw everything up and it'll really piss you off. Promise you that. So I've made this video three times now. <laughs> so we put our screw in, screw it the rest of the way in, and there we go. And now it's key retaining. So the shackle will not pop out. Now if the Z bar was facing the other way, the shackle would just pop right out again. And that's what happened the first time around. But I hope this helps someone uh, because yeah, without the, the changing tool, it's a real pain in the butt. Um, a screw, flathead screwdriver might help, but uh, make sure you pay attention to the order and detail and the shackle not being closed. Um, all right, everyone. Thanks for watching.